And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time, Holy Nightwolf Batman pedal show. My name is Kapoor. Wow. Hey, it worked. <laughs> I'm Alex. This is the Nightwolf from K-Line. going to check it out, see what it does. Yes. But uh, first, please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Ding the bell. Please do. And comments and questions below. That would be dandy. Be uh, and also, just want to mention right from the start, this was sent to us by the lovely people at K-Line. Uh, so thank you, uh, lovely people at K-Line for sending this out to us. And uh, check out a random other K-Line video here. Sure. So the Nightwolf, Alex. Yeah, yeah. It's got a wolf on it. And night and times. Nighttime stuff with moons. <laughs> so it's uh, one of the dual star pedals uh, on one side. So it's basically, you've got to think of it like that. Uh, that's their Pure Sky um, Overdrive, which is based on... The pedal, signature pedal of the lead singer of the Lords of the Underworld. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Cryptic. Uh, cryptic. Uh, this side is uh, a fuzz, which is, a, it's, I believe it's an actual germanium fuzz in there. So there's an actual germanium transistor in there. Mm. And it's based on a vintage sort of fuzz face style fuzz. So we're going to check out what it does. Oh, it does also have this cool, v a few of them have this voice switch, which uh, flips the order. Yeah, so you so, can either run the overdrive into the fuzz or the fuzz into the overdrive. Which is pretty versatile. So we'll check all that out later. Now we're going to a different amp today. We're going through the pedal into Mozatronics amp switcher, but via this uh, Jotone, o no, what's it called? Uh, Creme Brulee. Creme the, the black one there, the which one is, under the red one. Yeah, actually it's behind me. Yeah. Um, it's a bit more like voxy slash matchless kind of thing. Yeah. And um, that's just going through two notes as usual for the um, oh, yeah. And a lot of people kind of whinge about, oh, you've got all this stuff, you know, I just want to hear guitar into the amp. All it is, it's an amp switcher that just eliminates us having to plug and unplug amps. So it's yep. just switches between the different amps. It doesn't, it makes no difference to the sound. And then instead of having a speaker, we have the Captor X, which is, again, eliminates variables like mic placement and all that yeah. stuff. So it always sounds the same. It's always the same sound you get. So stop your whinging. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go with that. Uh, do you want to start? What do you want to start off with? Overdrive or fuzz? Uh, overdrive. Overdrive? So everything at 12 o'clock. And a clean tone. like that um, Pure Sky and lead singer of the Lord of the Underworld style Tim drive. Timothy. I think t t Timothy. Timothy, yeah, it's called yeah. him Timothy. Um, I think it's a really good sounding drive. Uh, mm. I, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think the whole idea behind it is a, is a cranked tweed style amp. All right. I think that's sort of what the idea is behind it. Yeah. Um, it, it just has a nice feel a nice tone to it mm. and so i mean we actually kind of consciously went into a different amp because we i think the uh, when we did the actual pure sky video which you can watch here uh we went into this amp which is the more fender dumble style thing so we thought for something different let's go into the kind of voxy kind of vibe kind yeah. of thing just for something different uh all right uh keep i'll just keep pl playing around with the uh, eq and stuff and see what kind of sounds we can get out of it <laughs> Great sort of crunchy. slightly crunchy sound. Yeah, yeah. Should we now have a quick look at the fuzz? Let's do that. So fuzz face style things, you just got volume and fuzz basically. Um, and that's this switch.
it's very gated. I haven't it's heard that note before. <laughs> it's it's the H. <laughs> yes, one after yeah. G. Um, it doesn't have a huge amount of volume there, but I mean, one of the good things is that you have the overdrive, so you can, and then depending on what order you use it in, you yep. can either push the fuzz, if, you, if it's not quite gated enough and not quite velcro enough, you can give it more, or you can give it a bit of volume with the overdrive. Pretty cool. So should we quickly try it, just yep. see what it sounds like if we do that? So I'm not sure which one is into which at the moment, but let's find out. So if we go overdrive. <laughs> Sounds good. Fuzz into overdrive. Yeah, yeah, that's that sounds good to me. Super blown out. Um, yeah. So you can always tell by uh, if you turn the volume up on this. If you turn the volume up on the overdrive, and all that happens, it gets fuzzier. That means it's the overdrive going into the fuzz. If you turn the volume up with the fuzz going into the overdrive, you get more volume. Yeah. Um, it's cool. I like that fuzz. That's a good sounding fuzz. Have been on your jazz master or something? Yep. 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 Parts master, caster, blaster. Master Caster Blaster, there's a video for it here. Uh, some fantastic Martin A. Smith pickups. Uh, I'm going to be on the, uh, to begin with anyway, on the wide range humbucker in the bridge. And if I play an E chord, it sounds like this. Overtones from the yeah from that yeah from the yeah. but that's part of the fun with jazz masters that's what things is it? Like. yeah yeah oh yeah okay. it's really really prominent just now. I think the the voxy style top end it uh. it picks it up more than than the dumbly style thing. But it's just a great, to me, that that circuit, that Lord of the Underworld circuit, <laughs> let's just call it that, uh, it's a great sort of strummy. You know, if you want to sound like Oasis. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean, that's strummy, yeah. driven, but not, it, it like, definite, lots of definition. But it's distorts, it's all ACDC style sort of sound. I totally. think it's great yeah. for that sort of stuff. really cool actually with the volume roll back well I mean a fuzz phase thing that's what the fuzz phase does quite well and the Lord of the Underworlds drive is quite dynamic as well
that's a really cool sound too, actually. I think we should hear it with a phaser for fun. Okay. Can you go to a phaser preset? Yeah. Just a fuzz. There it goes. And it's very stereo. <laughs> Some less death. Get that and some modulation, you got full on sort of psychedelic stuff going on. That, that was the uh, spin cycle. Spin cycle. Spin cycle. Don't know what that means, but uh, cool. a bit of univibe. I think that sounds pretty cool with the, with yeah. some delay actually. Um, okay, uh, uh, and it, and that's a massive sound. And it's like two effects, that and some modulation. Of that's some modulation. Choice, yeah. That's yeah. a it's a it's a cool sounding pedal. Yeah. It's um, should we should we do now quickly because oh, yeah. everyone wants to know it. Um, what does it sound like with a guitar tuned to C standard tuning and an aluminium neck? Yay. Yay. So this is my <laughs> Doom Master with a Vanda guitar uh, body. Hey, Dave. Uh, Bagley guitar neck, um, aluminium neck, uh, Curtis Novak, uh, Thunderbird bass for guitar pickups, Herod aluminium scratch plate, Descendant Vibrato, Mastery Bridge, and yeah. someone's v wiring, which I will put here. I forgot whose wiring it is. And it's in brown. And it's in, in uh, brown, yes. Right and clean in C standard tuning, it sounds like this.
like the other one. I like that one better. It kind of kills it completely. Oh, and there's a little bit of... Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Springfield. There will be no encores. <laughs> it sounds cool. I like it. It's huge. A little bit more volume on the fuzz side would be nice. Because in if it, if you've got the fuzz going into the overdrive, you've got this big, massive sound, and then you go the other way, and the sound is cool, but the volume kind of drops. So maybe a little bit more volume would be nice on this. But other than that, I dig. What, yeah. what, what, what were your thoughts? Yeah, you can just balance out by turning the other side down and you amp up. But, but that's boring. <laughs> Stop boring me. I think it's all cool. They're very usable sounds, both sides. And when you stack them, you get different textures. And, of course, that blown out fuzz collapsing thing. Yeah. Super doomy. Uh, what do you guys think? Comments below. Please do. Let and, us know. Uh, let, us, let us know your thoughts. Yeah. And um, all the links below to Instagram, Facebook, Facebook group chat, and a podcast. Check them out. Mm -hmm. And there's a K-Line playlist. <laughs> sure. See you in the next one. Catch you. Bye.